students today we will perform the experiment for finding out refraction of light light refraction right so this is activity 10.10 .10 in a tax textbook so first we will take a glass lab and we will mark its outline so i am marking its outline please see it so after marking its outline i will remove this lab and mark this as an a side b side c side and d side now i'll take a scale and make an angle of incident ray remember students the angle of incident never should be 90 degrees because if the ray is coming through 90 degrees it never refracts so this is angle of incidence and now i'll make the normal line so this is the normal line And the point of intersection of normal line, this ray, right, at side O, B, A, B is O. Now, I'll place this slide and I'll take a pin. Now, guys, before placing the pin, I'll take a pin and try to tap it there. Yeah. Now, guys, what we will do, we will take a point where take a point where exactly this pin is coinciding now you can see guys so this is the exact point where my pen is coinciding with the pin okay if i want to show you with the pin i'll show you the exact point where the pin is coinciding this side so this is the exact ray so what we'll do we'll mark this point we'll mark this point right and we will tap this pin here right guys so i'll take the third pin i'll take the third pin guys now what i'm going to do here just look have a look guys what i'm going to do again i'm taking this pin and trying to coincide it with the three two other pins right so exact location where it's coinciding with the two other pins now you can see that I can't see the second pin and the third pin. So move the camera. Yeah. Yeah. Exact this point is the angle of emergent ray. So I'll mark this point here. Guys, now I'm removing this one and I'm marking. I'm removing this pin, guys. Just check out. And I'm marking this ray. And I'll mention it, these two points as in G and H. Now, guys, what I'll do? I'll take an normal here. So you can see this is the normal point and the point where it is intersecting on the side D, C, D is termed as O, O dash. Now guys, I will join these two points. Now you can clearly see the line is bending the light is refracting so let's see how it is refracting so this is rarer medium and this is denser medium remember guys this is air and this is glass so when light is traveling from rarer medium to denser medium it is reflecting towards normal towards normal you can see light is bending towards normal right so if light travels from rarer medium to denser medium it bends towards normal and when light is traveling from denser medium to rarer medium denser medium to rarer medium that is from glass to air it moves away from normal so that's it guys you can clearly see with this experiment how light is changing its direction how light is bending when it is passing through one medium to other medium and you can ask me dear why this is happening so guys simple answer here is speed of light is altered so what happened to speed of light so speed of light is different in different different in different mediums so speed of light in air is faster 
speed of life in gas is slow so when density changes speed of light changes so the reflected ray appears as as bent so this is incident ray this is reflected ray and this is emergent ray so